All right, what's up guys? Welcome back, happy Friday. Today we have a very simple and effective workout. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So for the warm up, what you're gonna do is you're going to go for three minutes. We're gonna jog for 20 seconds easy, and then we're gonna run for 10 seconds hard. And you're just gonna repeat that process for three minutes. I would recommend go out for 90 seconds, so three rounds of that, and then come back for 90 seconds or three rounds. After that, for the rest of our warm up, we're gonna do two rounds. You guys are gonna do 10 half burpees. So for the half burpee, we're just gonna go down to the ground, drop the chest and hips, snap up, get the feet nice and flat, feel those hamstrings stretch, and then back down for your next rep. You're gonna go through 10 without standing all the way up. Then we're gonna hit 10 scat push ups after that. So, Plank position, butt squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together and then press the shoulder blades apart, nice and slow for 10. And then we are going to hit five twisted cross on either side. So I'm gonna lay down on the ground, arms gonna go out to the side and that other foot's gonna come oh, up and across. I need to do this. Uh, and you're gonna hold for a couple seconds before switching sides. Again, looking to stretch out the low back a little bit but also the chest and the bicep. Two rounds, that's your warm up. Then for your strength work today, we're gonna to do eight to 12 single arm towel rows with a, no, uh, with a slow descent. So what that's gonna look like is, again, we're isolating the grip in a little bit of a weird way because we're gonna be doing a lot of time under tension because these rows are gonna be slow on the way down. So each set, of eight to 12 is going to be dependent on weight. So if you have a heavier weight, you're gonna go down to eight reps. If you have a lighter weight, we're gonna bump up to 12 reps. Towel, you're gonna to wrap it around and then grab it here just so that we're working the forearms in a different way. Then you can go ahead and support your hand. What we're gonna do is keep the back nice and flat. So engage the belly, pull the shoulder blades back. I'm gonna pull that kettlebell or dumbbell all the way till it touches my chest, and I'm gonna descend in a nice, slow count, repeat, and nice and slow. And again, we're looking at eight to 12 reps with each rep taking about five seconds. So it's actually a good bit of forearm work as well uh, in this movement because of the weird grip and also because we're just gonna be holding on to that object for anywhere from 40 seconds to a minute at a time. So three sets of eight to 12 per Stop. Once you're done there, what we have for today's workout, it is a fun one. So you're gonna partner up if you have someone at home with you or if you're at the gym, you can partner up with someone, socially distance, of course. Then you're going to do 10 rounds each. You're gonna go for a 100 meter run and then you are going to do 10 burpees. When you are done your last burpee, your partner will then start their first round and you guys will go back and forth until you've completed 10 rounds each. Each of these rounds is meant to be a very fast sprint. So we're talking about, you know, one minute to a minute and 15 seconds per round, running that 100 meters nice and hard and then sprinting through those burpees and allowing your partner to tag in and get theirs done. If you don't have a partner, then you are going to work rest one to one. So you'll take your iPhone, you'll lap it when you finish your round and you'll rest the equivalent amount of time. If you're not gonna go for a run, you're going to do 20 plyo step ups. So if you're gonna do this workout purely at home in a living room or something like that, you're gonna do plyo step ups on a box. So 20, per, uh, 20 total, 10 per side, and then right into your 10 burpees. And for the burpees, again, just normal burpees all the way down, and then you've got to jump, feet leave the ground, open the hip, hands go up overhead. That's your workout. And then when we're done, we're just gonna do a little arm day Friday. So you're gonna do 100 curls with something. So if you're at the gym, you can bring a band out, you can use dumbbells, kettlebells, anything like that's totally fine. We're just looking to get 100 curls in at a relatively light weight and really isolate the bicep and get a good pump. So what it should look like is from here, only the elbow moves all the way till I feel a nice squeeze at the top, finish off that range of motion, back down. So there's no swinging or moving of the elbow, anything like that. It's isolated, curl, back down. Grip is up to you. You can do supinated, pronated, neutral. We'll leave it up to you guys. Have fun. Then when we're done, 
your mobility, <clears throat> we're going to do a one minute bicep smash on each side. So for that, you can use a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, a uh, barbell, anything like that. I'll use a kettlebell just to kind of, or sorry, dumbbell just to show you guys how this can be done. So what you're going to do is we're going to lay down on the ground, out to the side, and then we're just going to do a little bit of a muscle mash. So think about it like foam rolling, but with a dumbbell or with a kettlebell. So I can use as much weight as I want or need to, and I'm just going to gently roll across the bicep, relax the arm, and try and work that muscle out a bit. So think about it like using a foam roller for your thighs. We're basically trying to do that for the bicep. And you can work on the inner part, you can work flat on the arm, or you can roll the arm so that the palm faces the ground, and you can work on the outer part of the bicep. It's up to you guys. Shouldn't be comfortable, but it also shouldn't hurt. So find a happy medium. Again, we're not looking for any kind of pain when you do this. We're just looking for a little bit of discomfort as we start to work that muscle up because it's really hard to stretch our biceps. So it's easier to just try and mobilize them to loosen them up a little bit. And then after that, we're gonna do a two minute standing straddle. So we're gonna go out nice and wide with the feet and just let them slowly start to peel out, stretching out the groin. And then if you press your hips back a little bit, you can also hit those hamstrings a little. And then bonus, if you go fingers towards you, we can also hit those forearms. So we can get a whole bunch of different muscle groups going with this stretch. What we're doing here is really trying to loosen up the legs and the groin from some hard runs. Because when you sprint, really a lot of stress gets transferred to the groin and the hamstrings. So we just want to stretch them out a little bit after some pretty hard runs during today's workout. So that's training for Friday. Enjoy. Second to last day of the week. So finish it up strong. And as always, tag us, Palace.Fitness, supported by Zeus. We will see you guys back tomorrow for your final day of the week.